Hi, this is Krubakran Rajendran. Welcome to another video with Grow. So in this video, we are going to talk about options trading and more focused on what is the right strike price that we need to choose. So it doesn't matter whether you are an option buyer or an option seller. We are always confused on what strike to choose. Should we trade with in the money option or should we trade with at the money option or should we trade with out of the money option? So this confusion will always be there whenever we try to initiate a trade. So in this video, we are going to address what strike price is really ideal for an option buyer and what strike price is really ideal for option seller so that's what we are going to address in this video so what i'll do is i'll pick an example with respect to nifty as a specific trending example how a market has moved on a trending day and how these various strike prices moved the in the money option at the money option or no tm option how these strike prices has gained in value and we'll also compare the same with respect to nifty how the overall futures moved on a non-trending day and how these respective option strikes moved on the non-trending day and we'll compare both the things so that will give you a clear idea how these various strike prices definitely really works on a trending day versus non-trending day and based on that as an option buyer we'll know no or as an option seller we'll know what strike to choose so let's take an example of nifty which is on 30th of june chart i've taken it where you know as you could see when the nifty has moved almost from 19,080 levels to almost that day it you know, touched almost 19,200 day so approximately it is in 100 points of movement with respect to nifty spot so we'll see how various strike price in the money option at the money option and otm options on that day would have moved for the same 100 points movement so you no know, at the money option is 9 19100 that is the at the money option for that level since market was trading around 19086 so 19100 is the you know actual call option which we need to choose for atm options so this 19100 call option on that day you no know, at the start of the day it was trading around 249 rupees and by end of the day when we are trying to close at 315 it is approximately 300 rupees so this is the overall appreciation of at the money option so let us see how the overall in the money option would have appreciated so with respect to in the money i have considered 200 points in the money so bank nifty spot was approximately around 19,100 levels right so if we have to go 200 points you know, in the money which is around 18,900 so 18,900 call option that day it was around 380 rupees in the morning and by the time it closed around you know, 315 it was around 447 so th th this is the overall appreciation for in the money call option on that day now let's consider out of the money strike so the out of the money strike we have considered is 19400 levels so now we have just considered again over 200 points away the 300 points away of call option so 19100 was the spot so we consider 300 points away which is 19400 call option so 19400 call option if you consider the start of the day it was around 103 rupees and by end of the day it was around 131 rupees so these are the various strike prices and various price movements so let us compare it with respect to each and every strike and see which strike has given the highest profit with respect to that day so this table clearly shows you what is the price movement with respect to nifty futures at the money call option in the money option and otm options so with respect to futures that day on 30th of june from morning 19083 almost moved to 19196 so with respect to you know if you have taken a trade in futures you would have gained almost 113 points so for per lot that is almost approximately 5650 rupees of profit you would have made and the approximate margin that is required to take a you no know, long uh, with respect to futures is almost 1.5 lakhs so if we consider the overall returns in percentage wise it is 3.8 percent now similarly you know if you have to take the at the money call option in this trade which is you know 19,100 strike so i'm taking 19,100 call option with respect to monthly options here where the entry price was 249 rupees and exit price was around 300 rupees so the overall pnl is around 50 points it could have made and per lot it would have made approximately around 2515 rupees so the actual margin that is required is just premium into 50 rupees so there is no additional margin here so since we are buying options the required margin is very minimal so you just need around 12,500 rupees of overall margin which would have given you 2,500 rupees of profit so in percentage terms that is around 20 percent returns if i have traded the same you no know, day in the money option which is 18,100 call op 18,900 call option then that day you now as i explained in the chart it was 381 rupees in the morning and by evening it was you know when we try to close the trade it was 447 rupees 
So with respect to overall point wise, it is 66 points. With respect to overall PNL, it is 3,300 rupees of overall PNL. And from margin requirement of 19,000, the overall returns is approximately 17%. The margin requirement here increases because the premium increases. So with respect to OTM options, that date was trading around 103 and by end of the day it was 131. So overall gross PNL is 28 points. And with respect to per lot, it is 1,400 rupees. And required margin for OTM is very minimal since premium is relatively lower. So 5,000 rupees is the required margin. So if you calculate the returns, it is around 27.2%. So now what we need to consider here is, if you first we'll say check the absolute values. So with respect to absolute values, obviously future is going to give 100 points. So when we make futures in 100 points, which particular strike has given maximum profit with respect to absolute values is in the money option because that has given almost 66 points. Whereas ATM options for the same trade has given only 50 points and OTM trade has given only 28 points. So with respect to absolute PNL, 3300 rupees is obviously higher. So no, in the money option trade, when you're trying to buy in the money option, that has given you higher profits. But if you have to consider in percentage terms, as you could see, 27.2% is the highest in terms of percentage returns. So which means that you have put in 5000 rupees of no overall investment and you would have made 27% no, returns. So obviously with respect to percentage wise, OTM options will always give you a higher profit when the trade is right. And also if you wanted to go by absolute values, like with respect to overall point wise or overall per lot basis, 3300 rupees is actually the highest profit. So in absolute terms, in the money will option will always be higher. And with respect to you no know, equating the overall options trade with respect to futures trade, people usually say at the money options is 0.5 delta. So you no, know, if you take two lots of at the money options, that is almost equal to futures trade. So if I've taken two lots of at the money options, then it would be approximately 50 into, you know, into two times, which is almost 100 points. That is almost closer to futures. So people usually take two lots of ATM options to equate with respect to one lot of futures. So that is also there. But if we observe in general, when the market is really trending and you know, if you wanted to make an option buying trade in kind of a trending markets, so obviously OTM options will give you highest profit in terms of percentage terms. That you need to keep in mind when you're an option buyer, that too when the market is in really in a trending phase when the option goes in your favor. But with respect to absolute values in the money options will always give you absolute higher profits. So this is good with respect to trending markets. What happens if the market is not trending? So let, let us assume one more example and see what would happen if the market is in non-trending phase and if we have taken the same at the money options buy trade or in the money option buy trade and OTM option buy trade, what would be the overall PNL looks like? Let's compare that also. So let's assume this date where it is on 11th of July, as you could see the man on Nifty opened around 19,450 levels and closed around the same 19,450 levels. So it moved up, but eventually closed flat. So it did not, there was no specific, no trending move. It was totally a, a zigzag move throughout the day where market totally closed flat. So there was no movement at all. So if we are an option buyer and that since the market was not, not trending really in that day, what would have happened to our option buying trade if we have no taken the same trades like in the money option, at the money option and OTM options, how the overall results would look like. Let us check that. So these are the overall inputs. As you could see, you know, the futures, if you have taken a trade and you know, it started at 19,450 and ended at 19,450, zero points of profit. So there is no profit, no loss. So obviously there is zero percent returns. If you have taken the trade with respect to add the money option, which is 19,450 call option or 19,250, which is in the money option, 200 points in the money option or 19,750, which is no again, now far out of the money option, 300 points away from ATM. So what would have been the overall returns looks like if you have taken these respective strikes on a non-trending day? So as you could see, you know, ATM options and in the money options, both almost ended flat. So it's just you no know, normal 1%, 1% of profits. But with respect to OTM option, it, it started decaying. So when the market doesn't go in your favor, obviously you will tend to lose money with respect to OTM options. So this is really important point to keep in mind. So when you're placing an option buying trade, so first and foremost thing is when you're dealing in with option buying, try to deal with the monthly contract instead of weekly contract. 
because weekly contract will have comparatively higher decay than monthly contract since with respect to monthly contract you have enough time for the order to go in your favor the trade to go in your favor so the time will not work against you but with respect to weekly contracts when you try to you know, do an option buying with weekly if the market doesn't go in your side the dk will be a lot faster so you will tend to lose much higher money with respect to option buying and also only when the market is in really trending in nature definitely you no know, all three strikes in the money at the money and otm can gain you no know, significant values but compared to all other strikes otm options will gain give you, you no know, much higher profits in terms of percentage when the trade is right and the when the market is going in your direction but again the next thing that you need to consider is when the market is a non trending in nature when the market moves in sideways without you know going on the upside or going on the downside then you know when the market stuck in such kind of a very tight range your otm options will start decaying even though it is a monthly contract still it will decay so the ideal choice to choose with respect to you know otm options or atm options is when you are 100% sure that the market is going to go in your favor as per your analysis it's better to go with otm options but when you are relatively not really sure about which you uh, know way the market might move or how fast that market might move or how long for in the for the market to take to go in your direction then it is better to trade with at the money option so that the dk will not be much higher so if you are an option buyer only when your analysis is 100% true when you have that conviction go with otm options otherwise it's better to stick with atm options so with respect to option seller the ideal way is always to go with otm options if you want higher winning percentage because you no know, with respect to option buying you need to know where the market is going to go with respect to option selling you really don't need to know where the market is going to go if you if you know as long as where the market will not go okay market is currently at 19000 it will not go beyond 20000 on the upside it will not go beyond 18000 on the downside so since if you have conviction that the market will not go past between no certain levels then you can take a non directional trade with respect to otm options where you can short far away no call option otm and far away no otm put options this way when the market doesn't go no to that those zones then your otm options will tk and you will make money so people who are into option selling they primarily deal with option uh, you no know, selling options on otm strikes because they want higher winning percentage so if you are a person who is dealing with option selling who is specifically into non directional it is wise to choose you no know, these otm options for your you no know, strikes and if you are a directional pay, player like you know people who are into option selling they don't short both call option and put option sometimes they know exactly where the market is going to go based on their analysis say suppose if they think the market is going to go up they'll short put option and if they think the market is going to go down they'll short call option so if you are such kind of person who are really good with respect to you know finding the right direction of the market then it's better to choose with at the money options since the premium is relatively much higher since you have a conviction with respect to finding the right uh, trend of the market it's better to go with at the money options when you are doing option selling with respect to directional bias if you are a non directional player it's better to stick to otm options if you are an option seller so this is what i wanted to convey in this video hope you found this video really helpful in case if you have any questions please post in the comment section i'll address it thank you investment in securities market are subject to market risks read all the related documents carefully before investing please read the risk disclosure documents carefully before investing in equity shares derivatives mutual fund and or other instruments traded on the stock exchanges